What's going on, YouTube? Well, just got off work about an hour ago. It's been a long day. And uh, we went fishing over the weekend, didn't catch nothing. Caught some little little catfish, blue and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing worth filming. But I've been saving these uh, mystery tackle boxes from June and July. And I was kind of curious to see how they change up what they send each month. I was getting the, the mixed box, you know, for cats, uh, panfish, bass, yada yada. But I, I went and switched up and went strictly bass because I can... I can get my catfish stuff at a little local place, and they're pretty reasonable on their stuff. But anyway, this one right here is your uh, July box. This one right here, oh, it was upside down. But anyway, that was my July box. Here's my June box. Let's see what they gave me. Here we go. I've been waiting kind of to see if, uh, see what was in it. Probably help me catch a fish. But anyway, you got a neat little sticker. There's my prices for what's in it. There's my dibble, a little help me guide. And at first we got, uh, let's see, Striker Pro Jumper, $12.99. Striker Pro Jumper. Uh, is it right here, yep, Striker Pro. Pretty good. I'll be good up there in that clear lake. We got all kind of clear water here except for the ponds. But anyway, I'll put that baby to good use. Uh, Optimum Original Swim Bait. What do we got right here? That's clear. That also work on our lake. So far, they're two for two. For two. All the clear stuff works good on our lakes. That's pretty good. And it's weighted too. It's, uh, well, it don't tell you. Oh. Five to eight ounce, so ghost minnow. That all work pretty good. What's next? Carl's Amazing Baits, the Twacker. How in the heck you ever say it? it has to be this one. Woo -wee. Look at the colors on him. That right there ought to work pretty good. Oh yeah. Bright colors. Nice packaging. Good weighted. That'll work pretty good. I use a lot. I've been, I've been trying to do a lot of top water and, you know, hard bait, stuff like that. I, I, I'm a soft plastic guy, but anyway, uh, Carl's Amazing Bait Hunch. That's this one. That ought to work fairly good right there. I like that, too. I wonder if it's shallow. Thank you for dies four foot that's about perfect i do a lot of bank fishing so that'll work out really good right there uh what else do we got reaction strike rs ranger uh, right here here we go where's he go tournament grade hooks okay dives two to four again that ought to work pretty good Sometimes the water gets a little hazy up here, but it's all good. That ought to work really good. What's next? Uh, Dolby's D Blade Advanced Spinner Bait. That, that has to be this. Uh, I don't know. It, it's got some good weight. I don't know if I like the gold and chrome, you know. But anyway, we'll give it a whirl. I'm going to try them all <laughs> since I finally got to open them. That's good. That ought to work out pretty good. What's next? Uh, Rebel Minnow. Right here. I got a few of these in my box already, but believe it or not, I was catching trout on these. It worked out pretty good, and they liked them. How far does it dive? Well, it's a mystery. Anyway, we'll give it a whirl. I'm sure it'll be it'll be it'll work good, but. The Rebel Minnow. And uh, Pro Series. What's next? Rebel Minnow Catch Razor Worms. I don't think. Are the Razor Worms? No, I don't think so. It has to be. There ain't no worms in here. Right, anyway, 
Looks like we got some, uh, might be some pumpkin, but there's a dark color. I don't know. They don't tell you either. Okay. Anyway, they're dark with, with gold and red flake in them. They ought to work pretty good. I can use them in some ponds or something like that, but looks like there might be two. Anyway, they look pretty good to me. We'll give them a whirl. I'm a soft plastic guy, so that'll work. What's next? Uh, magic bait by Doe. See, see, stuff like this. Stuff like this I do not use. Period. I don't know where... I don't know what kind of fish they're catching, but... I don't know. I guess it's for like hog wild and primo. Huh. Anyway, I guess it's some kind of catfish rig, but I've never used them and I probably won't ever use these. They'll get put in a box and forgot about. And what's next? Uh, Lucky John Donkey Rig. Lucky John Donkey Rig. Here we go. Now these hooks are pretty good. It's got, it looks like swivel in there. That would work pretty good. Anyway, I, I use I, I usually use like from a six to a seven aught when I'm catfishing. You know, bigger hook. I've always heard bigger hook, bigger fish, and I can put more bait on them big hooks. But anyway, I'll, I'll use them for something. Anyway, they look pretty good. And then we got lifted, yeah, lifted jigs. Hmm. There I got. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be using these dudes. Yes, sir. Huh. Kind of small, but anyway, there's what the there's the lifted jigs. And anyway, the strike uh, the strike pro jumper was twelve ninety nine. Optimal and original swim bait eight ninety nine. Carl's amazing baits. Twacker six ninety nine. Carl's Amazing Baits Hunt six ninety nine. Reaction Strike RS Ranger five ninety nine. Dobin's D Blade D Blade Advantage Spinner Bait four ninety nine. Rebel Minnow three ninety nine. Catch Razor Worms three forty nine. Magic Bait Bites the the little yellow things two forty nine. Lucky John Donkey Rig two forty nine and dollar ninety nine. And uh, I'm getting. I I get the elite box because I like to have more stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so we we seen what was in that. It was a pretty good box. Now I'll put it all up and I'll put it in my tackle box sometime this weekend, probably when I have time. No, oh, I should have added that up. But anyway, who it comes it comes to be. A little bit more than what I what I pay for my subscription to uh, Mystery Tackle Box, so it's all good. And I need to get get a big bass where I can use this box and try to. <laughs> oh, I oh, forgot my stickers. I put that old sticker on something, or might put it on my pickup. It's old old work truck anyway. Anyway, that right there was the. Uh, June box. Now let's do the July box. See what we got cracking here. Hopefully it's as good as that one. The first one. Alright. Let's see. There's my sheet. There's my little sticker. That's pretty cool. Got my dibble. Alright. Lucky Craft Bevy Shad. 75 SP, $14.99. Look right here. Huh, kind of similar to the other one, just a little bit smaller, but what does it dive? Ew. Three to eight ounce. Must be secret. They don't want me to know what it dives. I guess I'll find out when I put it on, but anyway, it's good looking. Good looking bait right there. I've been trying to use some of these, but I just can't get used to the whole diving part of it. And I'm bottom top, you know, whatever. Snag proof Bobby's Perfect Frog, 10 bucks. 
Okay. I don't believe I've ever seen a frog like that. But anyway, we'll sure use it in them ponds. Try to get underneath them pads, get on top of them, walk it a little bit. Hopefully it'll walk, but anyway, it ain't bad looking. What's next? Uh, live target, men hiding, swim bait. Men hiding. Hmm. Yeah, live target right here. Dude, that, that's almost just like the one that I just had. Might be a little bit... Uh, what's the color of this one? Natural profile. Hmm. Size of three. Half ounce. It's almost identical to the one in the last box. That's kind of a bummer. But anyway, it is what it is. Biospawn Vial Crawl. 629. That has to be this because these are strange looking. I don't know if you can see that, but them are some weird looking dudes. Put them on a trailer or something. Or just throw a hook in there and throw it up there and see if anything bites it. They could confuse it as a uh, soft crawl or something there. But anyway, that's, that's the, what's it called? The vile crawl. Pretty neat. Okay. Uh, Catchco Shimmer Shad. Catchco, right here. Okay. Wow. That's got to be something used for trout or something because they're tiny. The hooks are tiny, boy. But anyway, pretty neat. I'll give them a whirl. I go trout fishing quite a bit, but the heat's too hot right now. But all right, there's that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Lucker Hunt River Worm. Lucker Hunt. Oh, now that's unusual. Look at that. I'm exactly. But it's showing panfish and trout, so that's a good thing. I can, might throw it on the kid's hook and let them see if they can't catch a perch or something on it. Okay. Bait rigs, bait holder hooks. That has to be these are the only hooks in there. Looks like perch hooks. Or that's what I use for a perch hook. Anyway, I'll give them to the kids for their little box. They got their own little box. I try to keep them out of mine. Okay, Charlie's Worms Incredible Crawl. Right here. Okay. Okay, looks like watermelon and... I know there's watermelon in there. It could even be pumpkin with red. It's got a pumpkin top with a red bottom. I can't tell. It looks like black flake in it or something, but looks pretty good. Charlie's Worms. See him? That'll work. I like salt base, man. I don't know why I just do. Uh, Thiel weighted cigar floaters. Eh, these right here. Kids use them. I'll give them to them. But anyway, floaters. South Bend snailed hooks. Man, more perch hooks. That, this right here is why I went strictly to the bass uh elite box because the stuff like here i don't use i don't perch fish hardly but i do trout fish but i mean i'm i'm i might be able to use them trout fishing man they've got some weird and then on top of that i get a a, a severe severely bent hook right there it bends anymore and it's gonna break that's kind of a drag come on elite i mean come on pay for elite box and you're sending me damaged goods Come on, mystery tackle box. Don't do that to me. But anyway, what I'm looking at and just figuring up in my head a little bit, I, I'm above what I paid for this box, and that's a good thing. When you come out ahead, that's always a good thing. But we'll put it all back up, and I'll put it all in my box, what I want in my box. Apparently, I'm going to have two of them, or almost the same. Y'all need to switch it up, mystery tackle box. Come on, dude. I like trying all kinds of new stuff. And uh, just let everybody know, I went to a, my local little tackle store. Anyway, we got June, July. I went to my local little tackle store, and they had a like a $20 crab bag. 
My wife was in there. She got it out for me. Because I've been hearing about this bag. And I wanted to see exactly what it was. So I'm going to make a challenge out of it. Challenge out of it. We got a uh, live magic shad. They look pretty good. Uh, we got live magic shad, uh, garlic, and swim bait. But they're two different colors. That's shad color. That's good. I might be able to use that over at over Hugo Dam. And then we got uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. And uh, they're green pumpkin and red. They look pretty good. Then we got uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures again. We got car. I don't know. Car prep. Car pep. I don't know. But they're weird looking. They're, they look kind of like they got chartreuse with a uh, hint of. I don't know if it's brown or just dirty red. But anyway, they look pretty good. And then we got. Uh, <laughs> Lake Fort. <clears throat> trophy lures again and anyway these are called motor oil or hot motor oil that's pretty cool anyway it looks like they're uh might be a pumpkin or a watermelon and then they got red flake with black flake they look pretty good but i'm gonna turn this into some kind of challenge i'm gonna try to just use anything that's in this bag and then we got a blue bruiser and there's some big old worms right there they ought to do pretty good. I'll give them a whirl. And uh, then we got uh, Swimming Super Fluke Jr. 10 piece. Uh, they don't tell me what color they are. Maybe that's why I was in the, the grab bag. I don't know. To me, they look like watermelon. They got rid of a lot of watermelon stuff in there and uh, green pumpkin, apparently. And I guess they're overstocked on all of it. But I'm going to try to turn this into a challenge where I try to catch fish on nothing but but what was in this bag. And hopefully I can get it done. But if not, it ain't because we didn't try. Because, I mean, this stuff like here I usually don't buy because I don't, I don't know. I just It just never looks right to me. But anyway, all right, let's see. Right there is the price tag. Twenty dollars. That's what I gave for that. Twenty bucks. So, anyway, I'm picking get out of here. Old ladies want me to go barbecue some chicken. I'm gonna go do that. And uh, I'd like it if y'all like, share, and subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. And turn on them notifications. That way, you know if I uh, when I upload a video, you'll know it. And uh, I guess until next time, y'all y'all keep on fishing and uh have fun doing it and we'll uh we'll catch you later anyway y'all have a good day boys and girls y'all probably thought the video was over i said i wasn't going to add the few videos that i had from uh, hugo dam but a wife said well you need to put them in there so i guess y'all's gonna get some bonus footage and uh i hope y'all enjoy it i mean they're just small fish my daughter caught one buddy of mine caught one i didn't catch any but anyway hope y'all enjoy it like share and subscribe and until next time We'll catch you later, and hopefully get something on this weekend. Later.
everybody's catching except for me, Austin, and my wife. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll get back to it. That's a little bigger than the last one. That's a little channel. That's a channel cat. Channel cat, channel cat. All of us are getting skunked. He's got two. Little baby channel. Had one little baby blue. Healthy looking fish. Pretty. Oh, don't you know the old rule? Oh, come on, man. I would have put you back in the water nice and easy. You got to give him a kiss. That way the rest of us will catch one. And kiss it. That's what Jimmy Houston always did. Kiss the fish. We'll all catch one. There he goes. He kissed the fish. Now we're going to get on him, boys. 